really humble to say that both sneaker unboxings this week came by way of just a lot of generosity. So shout out to Kicks and Cars for alley and me this sneaker for retail plus shipping. That rarely happens these days with the way it's set up and hunger kicks in these streets. But let's go ahead and unbox the brand new, well, at least for me, Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle in the Dark Iris and Campfire Orange. I owe a really, really big thank you to one of my followers on Twitter for blessing me with this pair for retail plus shipping. He secured three pairs. They were all a size six and he wanted to bless at least one person for retail. And I am so grateful I was that individual. So here we have the Sakai Nike Vapor Waffle in the Dark Iris and campfire orange now this shoe also features navy blue and i know that throws some people off they think there's no way that purple and navy and orange can coincide together but listen yes they do <laughs> i'm a very big fan of it now it's a polarizing shoe and we know it's because of that back heel and the midsole but if you look at the upper itself you have three different components you have leather you have nylon but you also have suede and it is an amazing grade of suede at least personally in my opinion you guys can see here with the finger stroke motion change of color occurs and that's what we love to see on a sneaker itself now nylon is the base you see it actually has the suede uh accents on the eyelets but then as well on the toe box and then we move to the back heel it's all leather you have the lace loop there on the back or i should say the heel tab that you can pull and nike sakai is branded as well on the back once you move to the medial side there's only a single swoosh but if you look on the the lateral side you have a double swoosh and then again you have a good grade of suede going up the actual eyelets for the lacing system and then we have that notorious double stack tongue the bottom tongue says nike sakai the top says nike sportswear and then the laces are layered as well i don't plan on swapping my laces out one is a navy blue ribbon the other is white and then you have actual navy blue rope laces but i don't see myself swapping them out and i don't swap them out here in the video for the insole, you have the bright campfire orange and that navy blue I mentioned that is present. And then you have the ever debatable <laughs> sole that some absolutely hate and love. And it does remind you of a fish's mouth or a fish mouth. I'm not sure the proper way that I want to say that. But uh, yes, it does remind you of a fish mouth. At least to me, it does. You have the outer sole. So if you're not aware, this is a combination of the Nike Pegasus and then also the Nike Vapor Fly. Now, the Nike Pegasus came way it came out way back in 1983 and it's evolved over the years i believe we're on the 38 or 39 now and then we have the vapor fly which we'll talk about a little bit later in the video because that sparked some controversy over the marathon record two hours being broken in the actual vapor fly that put nike in a little bit of a hot seat when it came to running itself but shatose abe did it again she captured everyone's attention with another nike collaboration stacking up on all of the elements of this shoe to make it a head turner What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Swoosh T Yeezy. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in to another video and it's so comical. The joke was made, seated TZ on Twitter. Thank you, legend, okay? And he even had the whole baby group doing this. Apparently that's what I do when, uh, when I get a new sneaker in. And you know what? Baby group is the man, so I will own that. That's fine, although trust me, all these pairs are not seated. I purchased, I purchased this pair, but I purchased it at retail plus shipping and that is, an amazing blessing because nowadays you just want access to the shoe. So when it comes to the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle, I tried desperately for this shoe. I tried so hard. So the Dark Iris and the Sesame colorway both dropped in April of this year. Now, again, these were follow-up colorways to 
earlier iterations we saw back near end of 2020 and those were also different materials you know on those pairs so you had different materials on those pairs so a lot of mesh and i believe leather versus you having a mix of suede leather and nylon on these pairs very similar to this so it's not my first sakai sneaker that i have this here is the um sakai so you have the ld waffle and again, it's another mix up by Shitose Abe and Nike. So she loves combining um, actually older pairs, but this time we're taking technology that's old and new in terms of running and that that's where we uh talk about the pegasus and then also the vaporfly now i said we would get to a little bit of controversy in terms of the vaporfly but if you like what you're seeing so far go ahead hit the subscribe button hit the like button i really appreciate it uh check around the channel for a lot of other unboxings but the vaporfly so if you're not really up on running and that's fine i don't follow it as closely as i used to when i was actually running in high school the two hour mark for the marathon, which if you're not aware, that's a long 26 point, you know, two miles. The two hour mark was broken. Just to give you context, okay, I'm not that fast. It took me an hour and 31 minutes to run a 15K, which is 10 miles. Yeah, so just to give you uh, an idea of how fast that person was running, not that fast, but uh he then i will also put his name here because i'm absolutely gonna butcher it if i try to say it but he broke the two hour mark in the vapor fly and so in the running community of course that sparked a lot of outrage with nike um not that what they did was wrong but should the vapor fly be allowed in competition just because of the responsiveness it could possibly provide to the runner now again every runner will not respond the exact same way but with times dropping across the board because i think shortly after that um a female actually broke a record as well when it came to a longer run you know a longer style race everyone thought whoa 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 let's just let's just take a look here at the vapor fly and are we gonna allow this and that's fair i totally understand but shout out to nike um in their technology and bringing it a very very long way from way back in the um well i don't i can't say 80s i can say the 70s i can say 80s when we're talking about the pegasus now pegasus originated back in 1983 and if you didn't know that's actually their best selling running shoe i could believe it because i used to have the pegasus 30 and i never wanted to give it up but then i didn't wear it a whole lot anymore and it started to fit a little tight so i actually gave it to a friend and then sold another pair because i doubled up on them and so now i have some of the somewhat newer um so this is actually the 36 i believe i run in the 35 right now and i should just go ahead and get a brand new pair but this is the collegiate pair for michigan and i actually kind of want the men's pair because the men have the white maize and navy blue so we'll see if it goes on sale i may get last season's versus um this season's but great running shoes in their own right old one of new and i love the mix of old and new technology together and that respect is paid by Shitose abe again the woman is known for stacking everything together but it comes it does so well she does what she does extremely well, whether it's on the blazer mids, the blazer lows, you also have again, the LD waffle and who knows what other style she could combine, but she has us locked in all the time and any Sakai collaboration sells out instantly and I rarely get them. I believe one of the last pairs we're still waiting to drop uh, involves the a uh, sale and white pair and again i would love to have it and when i tell you i commission people on this dark iris and then the sesame pair okay i had at least five people trying for me and five of those people including myself also we all took l's it's so rough out here it's so so rough and then i believe we were teased with an all navy pair and then also um an all gray pair but those are the ld waffle um it's the ld waffle style it's not the vapor waffle style so if you're more a fan of the little a little less exaggerated heel that comes with the ld waffle go for that but if you don't mind the very audacious heel on the vapor waffle it's a great pair so let's dive into sizing comfort and how i style this pair three different ways
Let me start off saying this is a very, very comfortable shoe. I'm pretty sure it also adds an inch to your height, which is not a bad thing. I'm okay being 5'7". I'm pretty sure they lied in all of the programs anyway when I played basketball and said I was 5'7", and I'm not. But the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle is known for its rather thick midsole, but it provides a lot of comfort. And uh, when it comes to sizing, and we'll jump back to the rest of the comfort. When it comes to sizing, go true to size, or you can also go up half a size if you would like more room. I went true to size with a men's six. That's what I'm normally in a lot of men's shoes. Some pairs I will go up to a six and a half, but for these, I am a size six and they fit extremely comfortable. Now, if we're talking comfort, if you've ever owned a Pegasus, that's actually what it feels like. I currently run in a Pegasus 35. I know I'm kind of behind and need to catch up. I still run in a Pegasus 35, uh, and I don't have a Vapor Fly, but I imagine it's extremely comfortable as well. I own the Zoom Fly SP, and that is quite comfortable. So if you're looking for a comfortable shoe, you're able to stand in all day. I think this is a great option now i don't know that i would run in this even though they are two running shoes combined it just gives off a lifestyle appeal and not i'm going to take this on the treadmill or outdoors to run i'm more of a treadmill runner now at this point in my life so i don't know that i would take it out for an actual run however standing around in the store all day going out with friends walking around the town being at the mall yes i would absolutely put these on so comfort is top notch and so is the style to me for the very first look here, all about summer. And remember I showed you guys a brand new pair of biker shorts I picked up from Nike. These are actually Nike Yoga Luxe shorts. So it features the Infinilon technology. I have a medium on here, ladies. So just remember uh, the material is very contouring. So don't go with your normal size, like go up. So I went, I got a medium and they fit great. Now I need to go back for more pairs. And then with the bralette, it is a lace bra from Hollister you guys saw a green one in another video and then an American Eagle chambray shirt and for the second fit I am filming this prior to the game so I have no idea the outcome of game six but I'm still rocking with Devin Booker proudly so I have on my son's tee that I picked up recently in the past week and then a pair of Nike tuned air pants I believe I got these at champs during a massive sale uh, last summer so we are coordinating quite quite well with the sneaker itself playing off the orange and the dark iris in the sneaker to finish everything off we have a pair of richie lee uh everyday nylon cargo pants and then we also have on the richie lee tee and listen i know this is gonna clash but the top is minimal sorry and we know that minimal took this off of fear of god so we we're already aware of that but uh i love the cropped look of this jacket in itself and then again the sneaker features navy so i thought it would uh play well together to throw on the uh corded pants in the navy color way and then just break up the, the the actual navy and the purple iridescent look of the jacket with a white tee to round off the outfit so please guys make sure you sound off outfit one outfit two outfit three outfit one is definitely more for the ladies and it's summer sometimes we don't want to be hot we want to be extremely comfortable and i hope that suits you i know it's a tad bit risque for me to film this and edit prior to the end of the game because i could uh, you know either way i'm gonna ride out with booker okay cheering for him all season long alongside my warriors we absolutely didn't have anything going on outside of that play-in game he's taken his team so far he's contributed so much put up 40 point games and it's just great to see where he's come uh starting out when they were the worst team in the league and now they're vying for a championship but if Giannis wins I don't know that there's anything to dislike about Giannis. He really is a likable superstar. Uh, I want the Suns to win, but Giannis is a very likable superstar. And these have been great finals. I don't know what people are talking about. I've enjoyed every bit of it. Now, it may also be because I'm cheering for one of the teams in the finals, but I enjoyed every bit of it. So trust me, I will be live tweeting, of course, on Twitter, underscore talks with TJ. But most importantly, when you're seeing this, it is july 22nd which means 
my shirt is live. Well, both shirts are live at your age, not your shoe size. So make sure that you tune in uh, on a fresh culture. That way you can purchase your shirt. We'll have this window open till the 31st. So look ahead, plan, budget, do whatever it is that you need to do. But we will have two colorways. So you have one in the royal blue, Kelly green and white, uh, a play off of the Alele May one, the Califia that came out. And then you'll have a bread colorway or a play off of the darker bread colorway we originally released. So this one is sale black and red. Um, it does have more of that streetwear vibe. So if you guys see like the vintage rapper style tees I, I wear a lot, that's ex that's what this will look like. Okay, so it will differ from the very first shirt, but I'm a really big fan. My goal is to have pics up on my Instagram at talkstylewith.tj of this specific shirt um, in both colorways so you guys can get an idea of how a medium fits on me. So thank you again so much for tuning in all of your support I hit 16,000 followers on instagram and growing on instagram is a struggle let me tell you okay way harder than youtube but you guys are awesome so thank you again as always actor age not your shoe size peace out